cracking in the sunset, the ship, dark blue, splits against the glowing sky, while the green water surges around us. I hold his hand and press his tiny body to mine and shield his eyes. I can see his father watching us. I wave to him one last time. I want Jonah to have one last moment to say goodbye, but I also fear what that memory might do to him. With a roar, the ship plummets into the foam and is gone, and we, the survivors, are a flotilla of tears and lamentation. I am too shocked to cry. I watch the sun melt into the ocean, and I count each bounce of the waves. Night is a killer. Our boats are separated. I can hear screams across the water. On this boat, we have children, so we sing. We sing songs about ducks and goats and farmers, about bakers and the moon. The real moon is a grim, cold egg above our heads, lighting the swirling fins of sharks. When Jonah asks to look for his papa, I say, you'll never see him. He's with the mermaids now. He's riding a seahorse. He's sleeping in a clamshell bed and dreaming of one day seeing you again. Finally, Jonah sleeps and I count the waves and pat his shoulder while I watch for a ship.